Amram is a fabulous musician. He has shared the stage with the likes of jazz great Dizzy Gillespie, country music star Willie Nelson, and he is equally at home in front of a symphony orchestra. He has also traveled the world studying the music and instruments of other cultures, and the things that he likes, he brings home with him. Come on. I was brought up on a farm in a place called Feasterville, Pennsylvania, and I used to hear music on the radio. I hear symphony music. I hear the great big band. Hey, girls, here we go. Supper time. My uncle was a merchant seaman, and he took me to Supper hear Duke Ellington in 1941 at the Earl Theater in Philadelphia. He said, if you like the Philadelphia Orchestra, which I did, he said, you're going to love this music, too, because this is also Supper classical time. music that's built to last. The joy of hearing Duke Ellington's music inspired David to learn more about jazz and other types of music. It became a lifelong endeavor. Every place that I went, I found that people would look at first, say, who is this guy and what does he want? And when they saw that I was interested in what they were doing, that I wanted to share what I knew, the little that I knew, and hope to learn a tiny bit of cultures I weren't brought up or born into, but was interested in, I found that musicians all over the world would show you what they knew. a Sri Lankan temple horn or a Selenese temple horn that I got in 1977 when I was over there. When I was in Egypt, I found out where the oboe came from. And the Shanai, which is one of the oldest instruments in the world, helps me in the concerts I do for kids to introduce them to the oboe, the English horn, and the bassoon by showing them this old instrument. Amram is classically trained. He was the first composer in residence with the New York Philharmonic and has composed over 140 works, many of them inspired by folk, jazz, Latin, and Native American rhythms. Floyd Westerman taught me this melody. He's a wonderful actor in Dances with Wolves and Custer Died for Your Sins, his famous song that he wrote. He's also a wonderful spokesman for Native people. that he taught me on the flute became this piece of music, which Eugene Ormandy recorded with the Philadelphia Orchestra, Trail of Beauty for oboe, mezzo, and strings. For the past 20 years, he's been the director of the Young People's Concerts at the Brooklyn Academy of Music with the Brooklyn Philharmonic. Recently, he worked with choreographer Jacques Damois in the creation of Chakra, a musical extravaganza. Jacques created a whole show around the performers that he was able to assemble. And I had a chance of working with people from India, which was a dream of mine. Those performers included New York City school children as well as internationally known Indian artists. The musical score was inspired by something that David heard on one of his visits to Pakistan. All based on a ten called a Japtal that went tika tika ding, tika tika ding, kinky ding, tinky ding. ding. <laughs> Next to farming and performing, David Amram loves teaching music to children. He says it makes for better adults. I feel for any young person, if they can have the opportunity to do something with other people and put their heart into it, what you get back from doing that is healthier than any vitamin pill, healthier than anything else in the world. You're giving something and you're getting something beautiful back for doing it. By the way, David will be conducting a tribute to Aaron Copeland in August at the Paramount Arts Center in Peekskill, New York. When New York Views returns, an exhibit that shatters the stereotypes of Native American art.